Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Guild Wars 1 Let's Play. We are here in Eye of the North, still doing the Ebon Vanguard side of the story. In the previous episode, we freed Pyre's Warband. Now, You're some more. Breaking into the Hierophant stronghold will be no small feat. The assault will take planning and charlike commitment to success. I prepare to do what must be done to see good. First speed to seer fierce... Ooh. Fear strain. There you go. He's a powerful siege weapon you must learn to use in the upcoming battle. There will be other tasks. Try to complete them without whining too loudly. I can't say the sound the humans make when you're unhappy. I prepared to win this battle. <laughs> you ask too much. It is my God-given right to whine. <laughs> Said I will, bitch. <laughs> Let's go on out. Let's go find our man. Do a little bit more exploring of this zone. Um, how do I want to put this? I, I always kind of felt like the char area was the least developed of the others, of all the zones. It feels like there's quite a bit in the Asurin zones, and it feels like there's quite a bit in the Norn zones. Um, maybe it's in part because the Norn zones, it's like you have like the... Eye of the North, this area here, which is technically still part of the Norn zones, but it's just three explorables for the even Vanguard zones. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just, I just always kind of felt that this was like the weird, odd one out of the the various groups. There's a red iris flyer. We haven't seen one of those since pre searing Do we have one actually still? I can grab one. But, um. Which is kind of sad because I think it's probably the coolest of them. But, you know. I'm just gonna. Suck to Seer Fear Strain. Give me command this artillery post. Only Pyre's friends by traverse the Dada uplands. Finally, if you're a prey, you'd be dead by now. I have a newly hatched Seeds of Hour ready for testing. Go stand out there. Well, I load it. Ha, that was a joke. You should see your face. We'll test on some shaman scouts instead. Bring the siege devourer and let's go. The shaman scouts are east of here. Get a move on. Don't forget to tell the siege devourer. Must I tell you everything? Clack, clack, a boom. <laughs> clack, clack, a boom, indeed. I'm not actually sure how many more episodes we're going to be in the even Vanguard zone because we're actually slowly approaching the end. Like I said, the story to this campaign is actually relatively short, coming in at only like four hours roughly or something like that for the entire playthrough, um, generally. But then we are going to have an extra, you know, ten episodes that are the different dungeons and stuff like that, so... It by no means is going to be a, uh, a sh short let's play. There they are. Move the Seeds of Hour into range and target those scouts that made it human proof. Even you should be able to figure it out. So I think you put the Siege Devourer like here. Stop, activate Siege and load. It kind of plants itself. And then it's going to do some Siege attacks. I don't, I think actually that's too far. I think we have to bring it a bit closer. Actually don't know where you're exactly supposed to plant this thing to make it do its job. <laughs> 
Okie dokie. Just a couple more to kill off, and we should be good to go. Excellent, now you can work a siege drive with having it blow up on you. Granted to retire from the simple task, go find your own fierce claws. Hunting some beasts and mention something about an eating bait. Ha, got you again. See the look on your face? Is <laughs> worth not eating you. I like you. Neat, you're fun to play with. Now go on, help Gron. He should be at the fields west of here. Beast hunting? Good, I'm hungry. This no human diamond has me cranky. I'm coming too. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? This no human diet has me cranky. <laughs> Oh, there's one, I forgot, there's one, at least one side episode we're going to be doing in the Char homelands as well. So, yeah. Then I believe there's three dungeons, three more dungeons, or four dungeons. One, two, three, yeah, there's four dungeons in this zone as well. Uh, I think someone... Just leveled up, and yes, you can have your final points. Everyone else should be good. Yep. Making sure. Gron of Fierce Claw. You want some Pyre, let us, meat. since we're newly weaned cubs, I would kill for him, let alone hope. Let us hope for your sake, me, that you not fall from Pyre's favor. Good you're here. Now we can get started. I've tracked an enormous armosaurus <clears throat> in this area. We must tame it to use our assault against the Hierophant stronghold. Show me what you've got, Mouse. The sorrow must be cow or will not respect authority. Authority. Here is one of the cooler bosses in the game. Is massive devourer, which absolutely blasted my team. Oh, God. Maybe I'll get through these guys. It's gonna be a little annoying. But yeah, he's, that's a super cool boss over there, Mole of Rock Tail. And as you can see, he absolutely blasts you if you're not ready for him. So, uh, yeah. The mob we are looking for, though, is on the other side of him. Oh wait, I have res, I can res him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, mistake was made. Let's just make sure they don't face plant into him. All right, that should be fine now they can res me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 
guess we're gonna have to kill him. Thankfully, once you're in melee range, he can't use that siege anymore, so he's pretty easy to kill once you're in melee range. You just gotta get in melee range of him. But anyway, now that we're that distraction's over, let's go kill that armored Saurus. There it is. Are you prepared? Breaking its will will not be easy for one so frail, but must be done. Pick your vanguard and summon your courage. That was easy. It gave up. I can't believe it. I was sure we would have to kill the beast to save you from its mob. Blast no sorrow steak for dinner. Hmm. Now what will state my hunger? We will eat after the assault, cow. A hungry warrior is a dangerous one. I must teach the beast its commands. The rest of you are late for your next task. Move out. Barmore Fierce Blade needs to teach you humans how to fight like a shark. Go to him and leave me to my work. All right. Let's go talk to Fierce Blade. I believe this is the last of the little prep. You're late if you want to survive against the Hierophant's forces. You must learn how to fight like a char. We have much time, so shut up and listen. The stronghold troops will fight in formation. It'll be like nothing you've ever faced. Char formations are powerful in combat and difficult for the weak and uninformed to break. You must be neither in the coming battle. Speak to me again when you're ready. I'll teach you the char style in live action combat. Formations are only as strong as their weakest link. Focus your fire full, pick one target, and break the formation. Otherwise, you are dead. Or, hear me out. Just do enough damage to kill everybody. Hey. <laughs> Hmm, that was better than I expected. Alright, I think we can actually zone back. I don't think it negatively affects the quest. Yes, okay, we're good now. Let's talk to Fierce Blade one more time. You want something? Yes, you handled the formation well. For a mouse, you, you might survive the assault after all. Hmm, you humans always seeking validation. We move out shortly. Go rest that frail body while you can. Fierce Heart is waiting outside. I will brief you when you are ready. All right, we're ready. We're ready to go save the Ebon Vanguard, get our friends back, or Gwen's friends back, I guess. But that is going to be the end of today's episode. I want to thank you all for coming out. I hope you have a great day. I hope you see you in the next one, where we will be rescuing the Ebon Vanguard. Bye-bye.